She's fine, recovering nicely. Tiny little crack in her pelvis, but she will be Did up. Did this happen and, on company property? Yes. It was okay. on company property with company property. So double jeopardy. We are fine. I don't, I don't think you understand how jeopardy works. Oh, right. I'm sorry. What is we're fine? doing his podcast <sighs> hello guys welcome back to the successfully failing podcast the show about the show about the stuff and the things and the place it's me danny and the his house with xavian yeah what's happening in the house with nick yo thank you in the house with chris yeah, word merry christmas yo we're here um, so we got some stuff to talk to you about. New York Comic Con is coming up in a couple days, so we are going to express how excited we are for that. All four days of awesomeness and madness and tiredness and... Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we got that. And I went to a little, uh, just a little concert on, uh, Saturday. Concert slash signing. Nice. We're going to talk about that. Um, some some little old man named Enzo Shikari. But before we get into that, I just want to make sure you guys are up to date with the Successfully Failing Podcast. If you're subscribed to us on iTunes, you guys get automatic updates. If not, do it. Very nice, thank you. Head over to iTunes Podcast and type in Successfully Failing and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, all that stuff. I hate saying that, but hey, it's worth saying every now and then. Um... Because I am not your owner. You guys do what you want. But it'd be cool if you guys show some love. Um, we're also on the YouTubes. Uh, YouTube.com slash Successfully Failing TV. We've got the, every single episode of the Successfully Failing Podcast. Amongst other things. Concert videos and stuff. You can find me on the Instagram at the real Danny Darko. You can find me on Twitter at I am Danny Darko. You can find Xavian on Instagram at xlewis45. You can find Nick at Bok Bok Way and Chris at CRS463. And you can find the successfully failing Instagram at This Is Successfully Failing. And yeah, we're the successfully failing podcast is also on SoundCloud and Podomatic if you guys are interested in that. So, how you doing today, X? I'm good. Just chilling. Yeah, man. How was your weekend? Uh, been at the shop all day, so I didn't really do much. Uh, Friday and Saturday, so not much being done. <laughs> I know how next weekend was. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, guys, to the five, four, six listeners that are listening, whatever that number may be, I know it's past, but Friday was Nick's birthday. So let's Bye-bye. say happy birthday. Yay. 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 Happy birthday. No. Yay. It was Thank your birthday, you. Nick. No. Yep. Bye. Yay. Happy birthday one more time. Yay. No. Yay. No. Yay. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. So Nick, Nick is an old man, but you guys want to um, send birthday cakes his way. Um, cake, send me some coke or something. Oh, that too. Oh, shit, some pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad girl's going to be listening to it. She's like, I think it's a young <laughs> 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 I'll give a fuck. <laughs> there you go. So, Nick, tell them how your Saturday went. Yo, that sip lane, son. No, no, before the sip lane. Oh, before the sip lane? Oh, yeah, 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 concert. Very nice. A little mini concert, really. Yeah, so we uh, so we took Nick to his very first Enter Shikari show. 
Yeah, shit, Corey. Shit, Corey. And, uh, I mean, shit, I, I fucking love it. I've, I've seen them, I think this is my eighth or seventh time seeing them or something like that. And I, every show I've been to has been fucking awesome, but this is, like, probably the most special show I've ever been to with them. Uh, there was no barricade in this event. So, anyways, the event was, um, they had a album release, uh, show in, um, Rough Trade in Brooklyn, which is really cool. It's a record store, and in the back of it, there's, like, a, a smallish music venue, and it's a pretty good size. It's, like, the size of, like, uh, if anybody's familiar with, um, Knitting Factory, it's not as big as Gramercy, but it's got kind of, like, a Knitting Factory, uh, sort of space... So it's, it could fit. It could fit several hundred people, but anywho, yeah. So they did an event there. Oh, excuse me. They did an event there. Um, you know, really obviously, uh, in, in celebration of the release of their new album, The Spark. Um, so they had a concert. It's about a forty-five minute set. Uh, played about, I think three or four songs off the new record, and they played a couple of older songs. Uh. And then after the show, they, they did a uh, signing, which was, which was cool. But, um, so, at the show, this place doesn't have a, a barricade, and every other Enter Shikari show I've been to has a barricade, so it, it was pretty cool to be super, super up close and personal. And I didn't mention this before, but Enter Shikari, over the years, has become, if not my favorite, at least one of my favorites, uh, favorite bands. Uh, like just the energy they bring live and uh, I mean to their music too just like listening to them um, you know you listen to your, to their albums and your earphones and just the energy that they exude is cra crazy <gasps> fuck yeah still still exhausted from it um, but yeah so so seeing them live is, it, it's it's a it's a whole other monster and like anybody that's I don't know remotely into rock, whether it be, like, heavy or just, like, regular, you know, rock, um, I, I, I always tell them to go see these guys live, because there's a little something for everything, yeah, it gets a little crazy sometimes, but then, you know, there's, there's some calm stuff, but just the, the energy they bring to the, to, to all their shows, and they're, they're amazing people, I mean, you know, not only the fact that they're from the UK, it makes them super amazing off the bat, but, I mean, they're really cool people, and if, like, if you ever get the chance to, uh, to sit down and, like, you know, chat with them, it's great. I mean, I've never really got to chat no more than, you know, like, the, what we did at the signing or whatever, but, I mean, it, it, it's, they're just genuine people, and it's really cool. So, anyways, um, yeah, it was, it was fun. Um, they, every time they're in the, every time they're in the States, they're, like, a band that, like, I try my best to see, just because they're not from here, and, you know... I mean, they do come here a lot for an out-of-country band, but, um, yeah, and, like I said, it was probably my seventh or eighth time seeing them live, I think number seven, um, and I'm stoked that they, they told me that they are announcing an, a tour in January, like a proper headlining tour, which is cool, and I'm really curious to see who they're gonna bring along, because usually, they always bring, like, some really cool bands with them, but, uh, yeah, so, the show was dope, they, um, like I said, they played about 45 minutes, played some new stuff, some some stuff off the last couple albums, uh, played a song off their second album, I think? They went pretty, they went pretty far back, uh, but, um, so they, the, the, I think the highlight of the night was, um, they performed their, their new, the, the new, the first single off the new album, um, single's called, uh, Live Outside, and, and Rao came out, um, jumped into the crowd and performed the entire song in the crowd and I was like right there I actually got to film it um it was cool like just like super up close and personal and uh he, he hopped on some dude's shoulders and, and it was cool he was playing the guitar in the crowd and like I said I got that whole thing on video so I'm dying to actually sit down and, and uh post it on uh on the YouTube channel another plug successfully failing TV on YouTube, and you can check that video out once I post it, um, I'll post the link in, in the descriptions here, in the com or whatever, the, sec the description sections in the podcast, so if anybody's, in anybody's interested, 
um, just one click, boom, you're there. But uh, yeah, like I said, it, it was amazing. And and if anybody, like I said, if you if you listen to rock or if you're just into like new music, if you're not like a closed-minded person, um, you don't mind a little bit of craziness. I mean, you don't have to be directly in the crowd, but just go to Ent Enter Shikari show. Um, but yeah, so they did that. They did the show, and then they did the signing afterwards. They and uh, so with with that damn with the concert ticket came a um you either had a choice of the CD or or vinyl and I I um so I have the I chose the vinyl um and this is my first ever vinyl like I've always like thought records were cool but I never really uh never really collected them you know does your mom have a collection of records oh yeah so she does yeah. Like, is it, I'm not being stupid, is it, like, mostly, like, Jamaican music, or does she no. have, like, other stuff, like, Whitney no, Houston and all stuff. that? The Diana Ross, Whitney Houston, you know, dope. Michael Jackson, all that. Dope, man. I, I got the Thriller one. Nice, that's dope. I, yeah, when we were at the record store, I was trying to look for, like, older stuff. Um, the collection wasn't really that great at that record store, surprisingly, but, um, like, they did have a lot of cool hip-hop gems, though. They had, a. Uh, they didn't have the the I M album that we were talking about um the other day. But they had a they had Illmatic, and what what the fuck was the other one? They had two Nas albums. Illmatic, I don't remember the other one. Right. Um, they they had uh, Eric B and Rakim's record. Uh, they had some um, they had some Wu Tang. They had Outkast. And I was looking at that shit. and I'm like, damn. Like, they had all oh, they had Lupe Fiasco's uh the cool the tenth anniversary. Like I, I I was like, damn. I need to get that shit. Um. And then, like, I was in the the soundtrack section. Like the which Cool's was, been ten years. Um, I don't. The Cool came out in two thousand. Oh, look this up. The Cool came out. Um, two thousand seven. Oh shit! This was the tenth year. Fuck. Holy shit. Damn. Cause I remember not too long ago they did the uh, the tenth anniversary for uh, for uh, Food and Liquor, the first one. I actually have the album on iTunes. Um. Yeah, so I saw that, and then they had um, they had a little small section, a very small section for like soundtracks, um, and I was like, if I see the Mad Max score, Fury Road, I'm gonna fucking end up spending money I don't have. Thankfully, they didn't have that, but, and it's funny because like back when um, like whenever I go to Hot Topic, they have, like um, record, they have vinyls there, and one thing that I've always fought picking up was um, they have, like a lot of the Christopher Nolan scores. So they had the Dark Knight, um, Dark Knight Rises, the Dark Knight, they had, uh, Interstellar. So I'm just like, and, and you, you know how much I love scores and shit like that, I mean, as you do too. But like, seeing that, I always try to fight it off. Yeah, now, actually, it's the Hans Zimmer scores. Han, yeah, Hans Zimmer is, is, is definitely one of the best out there. But those are the ones they have, and I'm just like, fuck. Like, uh, so I fought off getting them, but now that I have this Enter Shikari record, I guess, like, I opened up the floodgates for a new fucking, uh, um, uh, how do you say it, addiction. Like, and I remember my dad had a, a bunch, of, like, he had not a lot, but he had a decent amount. But it was mostly, like, the shit he had at the house was mostly, like, those, um, those, like, breakdancing, like, albums. So it was, like, mainly singles, but it was, like, the two side singles, and it was, like, mostly breakdance music. Like, uh, I don't... I think he had the uh, Planet Rock single um, records, and like, I I think that I might have held on to that, but like that shit was so cool. And then I remember one time um, when I was with one of my exes, uh, we were going to thrift stores in Park Slope, and uh, I remember seeing records, and I was looking for a Gloria Estefan record mm -hmm. or something of that nature, because I know my mom used to listen to to a lot of that stuff, and you know she had records as well, so I just thought that was cool. But anywho. So I got my first vinyl, pretty dope, and inside the vinyl, inside the, the casing, whatever, it's got a, a folder that, uh, of, it's labeled classified, and it's all the lyrics, like, typewritten, so it looks like a government file, mm -hmm. pretty cool. And then, yeah, the, the last song is, um, there's no lyrics in the last song, it's just an instrumental, so, um, like, it, it, sh like, it shows, like, if there's something written, but it's all blacked out, like, if they're trying to, you know, like, hide oh. shit. So I thought that was really fucking creative. So I got them to sign that, and I got them to sign the out. I wasn't originally going to have them sign the out, the casing, but then um, they signed the, the classified folder, and then uh, Chris, who is the, the 
the bass player, he was like, he had it in his hands, and he's like, do you want me to sign this too? I was like, can you? He was like, yeah, if you want to. So they all signed it, boom. And a, a little funny story, Um, so their sound man was there, and their sound man, a uh, couple, first two times I saw them, he was playing drums for them because the their drummer, Rob, um, he had visa issues coming out here, so he wasn't able to make the United States tours. So I remembered him. I didn't remember his name at first, but I remember him because I actually spoke to him at one of the shows. Um, so, like, the whole night, every time we saw him, like, we were all going, Steve, Steve, Steve. And, like, I, I wonder how, like, from a dude that nobody knows who the fuck he is for the most part, like, you have a group of people that actually do know who he is and, like, you know, so, sort of <laughs> shouting him out. Like, I wonder how that's got to feel. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Steve, man. That dude is cool as shit. And <laughs> at some point, um, the crowd started chanting Theon Greyjoy, who's a character from Game of Thrones. You look just like him. But anywho, so, uh, so Nick, yeah, you had fun, man? Very nice. It was very nice. Chris saved me from the mosque. Yeah, yeah, they got scared. It was, uh... Chris saved me. I was like, where's Chris? He's like, yo, Nick. I was like, yo, thank you. Like, the first song was relatively calm. They played Redshift, but then the second song was, um... They turned up. Fuck that shit. Yeah, the second wow. song was just like, yeah. <laughs> These dudes went from, like, the middle oh, wow. to the back. It's funny, I actually ended up from, like, a okay spot to, like, literally right on the, uh, on the stage. And then I stage dived, too, at the end. Which was, <laughs> I had to, man. Like, it, that, it, that's, like, my favorite, one of my favorite bands, and just to be that close to them. So, it's funny, like, I got up on stage, and then, like, I, I faced the camera towards the people, and I just jumped right in. Like, I was, like, I thought, I, I was saying that, like, they, um... The, the crowd cared more about the camera than me, so that's why they protected me. <laughs> but I was cool, dude. Um, and it's funny, because me and Chris got there really early, um, as we usually do. But the show started earlier, so we wanted to make sure if there were people there, we weren't in the back. So uh, um, Rob, the drummer, when I went to go get the thing signed, he was like, oh, you were, you were the first one here. I was like, yeah, man, for you guys. So, anywho, really stoked for the... Uh, for the um, uh, the show in January. I'm gonna keep my eyes up peeled for that. Um, hopefully, hopefully Nick could make it too. Word. You should come too, X. Just hide in the back or something like that. They're, they're a fun band to to, to witness. You yeah. Know? About that life, so. Hell no, I'm not yeah. about that life. I don't want to be. X is soft. You know? <laughs> Anywho. It's just I, I don't like concerts or rock concerts at all. I don't. I don't. That's, that's not my thing. I don't care who's playing. I just I just don't go to no, no concerts. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Nick, Nick's gonna make a cover of that song. Hell yeah, son. Uh, yeah, dude, it was fun, man. It, like I said, it was really cool to be that up close and personal to them and uh, for, uh, I watched them perform live. And anytime, anytime they're here, I'm there. But uh, yeah, so that was that was that. And then later on, we went to uh, we went to Franny's crib and turned Gosh, up a little Prince. bit. X must have had like ten gallons of uh, jungle juice. Yeah, That's Nick. Talking about. Yeah, this guy's still drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? I didn't even drink anything over there. Just Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, I was drunk. Fuck it. No, they put something in the pistachio nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. They put some fucking angel dust in that shit. Yeah, but it was cool though. It was nice to see Nick, Nick turning up having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The birth, the birthday, the birthday month is over now. That's it. Out of there. Next year. Yeah. Turn up next year again. <laughs> what happened? More fire. <laughs> yeah, so, alright, so let's jump right into the next thing. I'm not even going to do a little break because, you know, whatever. Um, Comic Con, baby. Yeah, man. Dude, if I if I was tired from, from that concert and turning up with Nick, shit, we're going to be fucking, I'm going to be dead. Well, you, got, you got these three days to rest. So, yeah, right, I'm going to fucking, uh, no, I, you know what though? It's 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 um, it's a crazy weekend. A, like there's a lot of shit going on. A lot of walking. A lot of sitting. A lot of waiting. A lot of pictures. A lot of seeing friends that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, a lot of admiring things. And but it's it's the best feeling in the world, man. Just like being in that environment for four long days. Like, and I'm not even like exaggerating. I'm being. I mean, excuse me. I'm not even being sarcastic. It's it's the funnest thing ever. Like, for the first time, like, being that since, you know, I don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. um, like, even though I take the day, I take Monday off, so I have that one day to recuperate. But 
it, it just sucks going back to coming from that environment for all those days and all that time and then even after the day off going back to work like it's just the worst fucking feeling yeah. like see at least with the shop with the tattoo shop it's a little different cause you know even, even though I, I, even that I feel it that's just, just, yeah, just but like, I, yeah I, wanna, I wanna go home yeah <laughs> dude cause me like I'm over there used to being in my joker shit all weekend and then I, I like I had to be in you know regular clothes and around these regular people hearing them talking about fucking you know stocks and municipal bonds and all that shit and just fucking cliche conversations like hey uh, it's, it's uh, cold outside today fucking like obviously so um yeah man um so for those who don't know or if they care New York Comic Con goes down uh October 5th through the 8th that's uh Thursday through Sunday at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City, and it is New York's biggest comic convention, at least. Uh, surprising that they don't have at least one more. You know, yeah. like, one big show, because it is New York, and, like, you can easily make it happen, but they, well, and, but that's, like, the anime con's big, but it's, so the thing is, it's subjected to anime. Like, I mean, like, a big comic or fan expo thingy. Like, cause those are more generalized to where it's like it, there's anime, there's comics, there's movies, there's TV, there's everything. I mean, the biggest the biggest convention in New York outside of uh, Comic Con has to be uh, the the car show. Mm-hmm. But but anywho, we're here for New York Comic Con. So what? Oh, drag con. But um, yeah um. And I know uh, this is actually the first time X is gonna cosplay. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. So I could say, hey, I actually did that once. You, It's it's going to be a different experience because, like, you may think that most people are not going to care, but you actually kind of went all in with your shit. So people are actually going to notice I it. I didn't think I'd go... I didn't think I went enough, but... Well, I mean, you did kind of a good job. I mean, how much did you, how much money did you spend on that shit already? Like, at least three, four hundred dollars, maybe more? Something like that. that. That's a lot, dude. That's like some shit that, like, people, you know, uh, maybe maybe not professional cosplayers, but, like, you know, the people that really are into it, they spend that kind of money, so. I was trying to get, like, uh, trying to make a first date spray, but <laughs> they can't, you can't have first sprays over there. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Yeah, uh, the... yeah a little, little thing got to gotta go hold back, but, hey, I, I ain't mad at it. I, I still couldn't even get a gun that's, like, acceptable. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's understandable, but it kind of sucks when most people are not there shooting people up. So it's like I don't think anybody has that intention. But you know they gotta be precau- yeah, gotta take precaution and all that stuff. People safety. There's a lot of people there. It's it's always scary to think that like there's so many people there and one dumb shit can you yeah, know that could just change the whole thing from from that point on. Yeah, thankfully, knock on wood, we haven't had any kind of experiences like that. Um, nothing even close to it, honestly. I think, what was that one issue they had last year on the Friday? Remember that, like... No, it was just, like, a new set of security, and they just, like, uh, they were just inept on yeah, what they were so doing. Yeah, that was so bad. Like, they, what were they doing? They were, like... No, they, they, they were just unorganized on, on everything, and, and they just, 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 like, put a, it's like a bottleneck all kinds of and all the whole size of the entrance. Yeah, it was weird. It was like, not like that. Oh, yeah, so they narrowed it down to, like, yeah. one... Like, yeah, yeah. Fun- yeah. yeah, they they because you you know like uh, basically after twelve o'clock you could just walk in with no problem. Yeah, dude, it was like two o'clock and it was people two still o'clock trying and, to get yeah, in yeah, for the and, first time. Yeah, just that's just their security fuck up. And it's weird because when we went in earlier, we because we got there what we normal time was like seven o'clock and it was six in yeah. the morning. We didn't have that issue. We did, yeah. But no. we decided to go get pizza, and like you said, it's already past twelve. Yeah, we walk right back in through you know through the main entrance with everybody else. But well, we had to go all the way around. Like it yep. was, just, it was like we we you know, we were going there for the first yeah, we, time. We we, 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 were, we were just standing there. It was like okay, this should start moving. Nope. Yeah, and I thought something happened. There were like three or four different lines. It was like you, 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 a, a, a set of people there go stop, and another set go stop. Yeah. And yeah. It, if I'm not mistaken, line across the street. If I'm like, not if I'm not mistaken, I think somebody had said that there was a small incident the night before. On, fr- on Thursday or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember. I'm not, you know, it's obviously not that important because they fixed it the next day. But it was just, yeah, it was just weird because, like, 
we we go to get our normal pizza in the middle of the day. They they brought out the metal detectors one 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 day. Yeah, I th- I think that was the same day. I think that was the day that like that's why it was so. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was some retarded shit, but they they fixed it because on Saturday it was back to normal. Sunday yeah, was back to normal. We were just scared to go back out and get pizza. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> dude, usually like the only time we're worried to move is in the morning. Because we don't want to lose a spot, you know, getting in and all that shit. But after a certain point, like, we went on Sunday. We got there, at, like, at 10, 11 o'clock when it starts or whatever. And we just walked right in. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, anyways, but yeah, outside of that, it's usually re- relatively uh, calm. Nothing to worry about. But it does suck because, you know, you want a lot of cosplayers, they put a lot of work into their... Uh, to their to their props. That's like sometimes the props are more important than the actual yeah. comic. Like you could go in there with like a regular vest and something else, but that sword you have is is the the costume. But now you don't have the sword, so you're walking around with just a leather jacket looking like a regular person and nobody knows who the fuck you are. And and that kind of sucks, especially if you spent time and money on those things. So yeah, it, it does kind of suck, but w- with your costume though, you have the whole uh for for the most part, I haven't seen how it looked, but and people are gonna recognize you. Like you may not think of it now, um, cause dude, even when I did the Joker the first time, I did not think anybody was gonna care. I just, I'm just thinking I'm gonna go into this convention looking like a cheap ass Joker, um, and I mean I know I did alright with it, like cause, but uh, it, yeah, it's just I didn't think anything, and and like so many people stopped me, and like. You, you may think of your costume as basic for the most part, but it is definitely, like, people are familiar with Resident Evil, and they're gonna, like, right off the bat, they're gonna be like, holy shit, stars, and, you know, they're gonna take a picture with you, and it's I, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I picked that because I don't think there was, there will be a lot of stars or umbrella. Yeah, you'll get, like, a handful. Yeah, you might get, like, yeah, but, but, but it, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to cosplay as that if there's so much of something like Harley Quinns and uh, yeah, Jokers like, or yeah, exactly or like the Negans or you know. The only the only reason why I do my Joker is because it's different. If I, I like, I wouldn't want to do the same Joker that everybody else is doing. You know, like it is, uh, influenced by like Heath and whatnot, but it's not that Heath Ledger Joker with the same exact costume. Like you can differentiate me from the other people. Like I do have friends that do like the. You know, like the more traditional jokers and whatnot, and they do a hell of a job, and that's you know, power to them. But yeah, me personally, like if I had the choice, yeah, like I do some, I do something different. So yeah, like not, nah, I mean, and it's cool because you're gonna see people when you do see people dressed as stars, um, you know, whatever star soldiers, um, like it, it'll be cool taking pictures with them. Maybe you get like, maybe you get like a couple nice group shots and shit, you know. And if you ever run into like a Resident Evil villain, like that oh, that yeah. dude last year, I wonder oh, if he's gonna do that again. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him if he, if he would. I mean, that's a damn good costume. They need to bring that shit out again. Like like the Lex Luthor dude. Like I I, I said the other day. Like it, if you have a costume like that, you better wear that shit every yeah, year. I, yeah, at least bring it back once. Yeah. Uh, Unless it's like that Iron Man shit. I mean, like, I mean, I wonder if the, that guy did it for the. I I doubt he did it for the, all four days or, or um, whatever. I think he does it like a good portion of it, but I don't remember him that, doing. That, I know he does something else. I just don't remember what. Wait, wait, wait. The 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 the, the Resident Evil. Oh, you talking about the Resident Evil guy? Yeah. Oh no, I think he was there like all all the days he was there. Wow. Because I seen him a lot. Because that that alone is just like. <laughs> and and the thing is, New York Comic Con is a tough thing because it's either hot or cold yeah there's really no in between like if you're wearing too much you're gonna be hot if you're not wearing enough you're gonna be cold and that's the problem with my joker because like it it, it usually involves a tank top so it, it's yeah it, it gets cold especially like when you're there in the morning so yeah it's it's tough so for him dude that shit like let me see what the weather looks like because we're looking at and and again, like yeah, I said, this I mean, is weird weather. Matter, because every time, like when I was there, please, two, for the for the past two years, is like when we wait outside, we're cold. Yeah, in the morning, yeah. Yeah, when we were, then we get in there, and we chill now. Then it, it's it's just hot. Yeah, gotta, like put away the hoodie. Well, Thursday is gonna be eighty three, but that's a regular day for us. We don't really dress nice. up. Um, Friday eighty. Saturday, seventy two. 
and Sunday it says 74 but rain. Why does it always have to rain one day? Why can't we get that whole... Yeah, what the hell? Like, I mean, <laughs> thankfully it's just one day. Yeah. And it's usually never really that bad. Um, I think only one time it, like, rained while, I, while we were online. That one, that one time I was with the loud dude, where we were standing with the kids. Uh, I don't know, were you there that time? Uh, the only time I remember rain is, is when we were leaving. Well, that happened too. Oh, yeah, that way it, was, it, it was, Yeah, it was that hurricane type pour. Yeah. And um, and it rained a little bit last the last year. Yeah. And that that Sunday, it was a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, when we were going there too, because yeah. I remember I had the umbrella and shit. Um, but I mean, hey, it's better than raining all four days. But it would be nice to just like fucking pour on Thursday or Tuesday, and I mean Wednesday or Tuesday before the show, and then. Or, or Monday after, just, whatever though, but, uh, so, um, so, like, wh what are you, what are your, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Like, I know you, you got panels, like, lined up and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my main panel I'm aiming for is the Punisher. Okay. The, the Marvel Punisher. I mean, I do want to <laughs> see the Hey Arnold or the, or, um, Voltron, but those are, like, uh, secondary. You know? Oh wait, hold on. There's a Hey Arnold panel. They're having like a Hey Arnold thing. I think he's coming out with another movie. I uh, oh wait, there was I well I don't there was something I seen like some people but it had to do with like people were using it for like during like protests or some shit like that like the I, whole I don't know about the whole protest. It, it had to do with like cause I I seen some friends I don't know if it's the new thing but it was some Hey Arnold thing mm -hmm. that uh, some people were using it for like the shit that's going on at Sunset Park with the whole like. Uh, like uh, with the whole real estate company or some shit like that or whatever. It's not some stupid shit. But anyways, um, no, nah, I didn't know that was happening. Yeah, there's, there's that. There, there's a lot of um, couple couple of good panels out there. I know um, there's. I, what, what, was there? There was a fuck. What did I say? Voltron. And there was like a, a like another Marvel TV. I think the Runaways or something like that. But I I don't really. I mean that's like if I whatever I don't really care too much about that yeah I don't think investing like cause yeah, I'm not gonna run for that or whatever yeah cause honestly I like the the panels and everything are cool but I think my favorite my excuse me my favorite thing about Comic Con is just the people yeah like, actually yeah actually yeah it, I mean if I miss a con uh, if I miss a panel I'm not gonna be mad but no. the, the the people and the the what the vendors and all the mm -hmm. the cosplayers I'm yeah. not yeah that's that's my favorite part. Like the only thing I would waste my time on, um, for in some cases is like you know the the signing lines where you you know you get to meet certain people, but yeah. that's that's about it. But yeah. like the panels, I mean, I me personally, I could live without be, because it just I feel like it takes away a big portion of. Uh, uh, no, I mean the the both panel experiences when I was just awesome. Well, I, I hear they're good when you go. Uh, I mean, especially the Jessica Jones when they like they showed me the first episode. I was like, "Oh, word! <laughs> this is like, all right." Yeah. Yeah. They just talk. They talk about it. They 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 sometimes give you a surprise guest, like who's in it, yeah. like what they did last year with Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's. It, I mean, depending on the on the 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 panel and and uh, and um, since Punisher is coming out two thousand seventeen. There's like basically two more months left. I, I, there's a good chance that you might see a see an episode. Yeah, that's true. That so. I mean, that's worth it. Like that, or if you get to like meet the cast, like physically, yeah. like you know, say shake their hand and all that shit, or get something signed. Like that's mm -hmm. cool. But um, I don't know. Like also, w w w my my issue is um, is I have a lot of friends all over that come to Comic Con. I don't get to see on a daily basis. So like. Sometimes, like, doing certain things, like, even going to get pizza and shit like that, like, I end up missing them, and then, like, how many people do I run into in, like, literally the last hour of the show? Yeah. Like, it's it's amazing how in that last hour or two, I will run into, like, 50 people that I've been looking for, or have they have been looking for me the entire, um, the entire show. I remember, uh, last year, uh, my friend Lily, who... We both follow each other on Instagram for a long time. Like she came up to me and she like was like super excited and I'm like, why? And this is a girl who has this is a but this is a girl who has thousands of followers. Like her shit is you know the whatever K. Like you know like I, and I'm just like, 
we, we liked each other's stuff, you know, I liked her stuff, but I didn't think it was like that, and, and like, you know, she was, like, really super cool about it, and, like, I'm like, damn. But, um, and, and I ran into her when I was waiting to leave the show. <laughs> like, that's, that's so fucking crazy. And, um, like, what was it, uh, it seems like every fucking year, uh, Melina and Edith, uh, Starfire and, um, Wonder Woman, yeah. I, it seems like every fucking time I see them, it's always the last couple hours of the last day. <laughs> like, the first year that I, I, like, actually got to physically meet them, because, again, I knew them through Instagram and, and Facebook and all that shit, and we became friends that way, um, but it was, uh, 2014, that was the first year I dressed up as the Joker, and, um... It, they were looking for me the whole day and they made it like their top priority to find me before they left the building. And like that was crazy because these two hot chicks and these bomb ass costumes are like brushing everybody off just to get me and I'm like, wow. Because you met like that. Not because they're cool people. So they're, they're, they're like awesome. But anywho, yeah, but there's a lot of friends out there like uh, that you don't get to see often. Like um, you met uh, Jeffrey, the, the Joker. He was, um, he was uh, Constantine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That guy goes in. Yeah, dude, he's... Like, Even on his character, too. He, I'm like, damn. Yeah, I think he was actually drunk that day. They, he said he was drunk, right? If I'm not mistaken. I think there was something in that flask. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't even put it past him. <laughs> Did you see his Rocky Horror Show um, Joker um, crossover? No. That dude is ballsy as shit, dude. He went in on some straight, like, drag. Like, it's yeah, crazy. He, he, he looked like he don't give a give a fuck dude he, well I think he's an actor too that, that, that explains actor, yeah. Yeah, that explains everything cause he was way too into character when yeah. that is a bad thing but he was I, I, I just wanted a picture <laughs> I it, didn't want a performance and it's funny because when I when I met him um, it was the it was the year before last um, he was the 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 end game joker yeah you, t- yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, and I ran into him, and I noticed that right off the bat. I was like, holy shit. But at that time, he still had his plugs in and everything, so I didn't think he was, like, heavy into it like that. Um, oh, is uh, Luke Cage going to be there? What's his name, Alex? Alex? I'm 99.9% sure he's going to be there. Yeah. He should be. I mean, that... that cool, dude. Yeah, he's awesome, man. Like, um, and, and, and I think Charlie's going to be there, because he did ask, like, something about, like, what days we were going to oh, be there, because okay. this is the dude that every year, I'm not coming back next year, <laughs> and then what happens, you see him waiting on that line, the, the, the comics have been, um, like, down, like, and the commissions have been down, like, he doesn't carry as much, but, like, he's, he's slowly enjoying the show for, for the show, as opposed to, like, just the job where he has to go get a million books signed, because yeah. that's how we met him, like. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, um, I wanted the art, too. Yo, Jeff Johns is gonna be there. Uh, oh wait, no, no, wait, don't time out, time out, no, wait. I'm not sure if Jeff Johns is gonna be there. My bad. Because I, I got questions for him. <laughs> yo, he, that guy's a fucking unicorn. <laughs> no, it was Todd McFarlane's gonna be there, but he's doing a panel. Okay. That, I think that's the only thing he's doing from what I know. Um I would think that Jeff Johns is gonna do a panel too. I don't think he's just gonna sit there it, at that. No, if Jeff if Jeff Johns is there, he's there for some big boy shit. Yes. <laughs> it, it ain't no um <laughs> And now that he's like tied with the movies and everything, it's fucking hard to get that dude. Like, that's one guy I've never met. Oh, that movie shit is bullshit. Yeah, I mean, but that, he... That, that is bullshit. I mean, it's... He... he, he they made this announcement that he... Nah, 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 nah. I, I, mean, I don't know, but whatever it is, he's still, like... He's too he's too Hollywood for uh for the the comic book world now and I don't I'm not trying to shit on him because Jeff Johns is an awesome guy. No, he's I writing mean, he's writing something. I think he's 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 starting a writing pro- writing a project. Okay. Yeah, I really want to know if he's gonna be, be uh be there though because that's a guy I've met. Scott Young's gonna be there, which I'm stoked about. Um, my my boy John Samariva is gonna be there. Scott uh, Snyder's gonna be there, right? It's like Snyder. always. Scott Snyder's usually always there. Um, Capullo's there for sure. Um, the, the, especially now they got the metal project, so I'm pretty sure they're yeah. like that. You know, they're gonna be there. Um, yeah, like I don't really, I haven't looked at any any of the lists, like. The only people I know... That's a long fucking list. That's why I stopped. <laughs> the, the only people I know that are officially going to be there, and these are just celebrities, are Mark Hamill and Tara Strong. And Mark Hamill, I would love to meet him, but because of Star Wars, it's, it's almost impossible. And, it, you know, kudos to him. Now, Tara Strong, I would love to meet her, but um, like I'm mad that a couple years ago I didn't meet John DiMaggio when he was there. But, um... Yeah, fucking, uh, 
I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, I haven't really, like, I want to know what wrestlers are going to be there outside of the typical, you know, Hacksaw Jim Duggan and uh, <laughs> um, Sergeant Slaughter. And, yeah, um, Jimmy's going to love all that. Yeah, and, and it doesn't, um, Jim, is it Jimmy, not Jimmy Hart, um, fuck, what, how, why am I forgetting his name? Uh, Hogan's old uh, manager? Yeah, Martha is out, Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart, so yeah. I was right, yeah. He's usually there, if I'm not mistaken. He's Ted one of those DiBiase. guys. Ted DiBiase. Yeah. Sergeant um, Slaughter. Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. And um, Mick Foley is usually there like 80% of the time. Um, I mean, I would like to see some Bullet Club there. Yo, I, dude, the fact that, like, that's what I was saying. Like, every day you don't wear um, the, the Stars thingy. And you should find a, you should find a way to, to get the Bullet Club thing on the Stars thing. Like, you see how I did this where I cut up a sleeve? Yo, cut up a sleeve and put that shit on your arm somewhere. <laughs> just just in case. Because you never know. Fucking Marty Skrull may be walking I'll, around. I'll just wear it under the fucking... Under the, under the BDU. Okay, whatever. We'll find a way. You can just be like, yeah, strip. But um, yeah, because I'm going to be doing... Uh, I'm hoping it comes out as cool as I want it to. But I'm going to be doing like a villain club joker. So I wanted to kind of... Like pre, not preview that. I don't like using that. Like if I'm a fucking professional cosplayer, but I kind of wanted to do something like that at Warp Tour, but I couldn't find the uh, the the villain club shirt. But yeah, but I, like I, I was saying to to wear something every day, like because w- even if they don't have a panel, or I mean you know they're not at a signing or whatever, they may be fucking creeping around, and you're gonna have some dude come up to you and be like too sweet, and then. And you know they're gonna too sweet everybody. Yeah. Like that. That's how they are. Even if they're trying to be quiet, they're gonna too sweet every, somebody. Yeah, anybody. That's the whole thing. Anybody. If you're wearing a bullet club shirt and you see somebody wearing a, they too sweet you. Yeah. That's what, oh, we actually saw some dude uh, at, at the show yesterday. He was, when we were doing, the, we were waiting for the signing. He was in the record store, and he even said uh, he yelled out, "Fuck the revival." And yeah, this dude. Um, when me and Jimmy was closing up, this dude. He <laughs> stopped us. He's like, yeah, you, you guys got to too sweet me. <laughs> that's, that's I, lo- I love the fact that it's like, I, well, we were ta- I think we talked about this on another episode, but I know we talked about this in general. Like, it does suck sometimes when you're wearing a shirt and not as many people, like, you can almost go a day for the most part with nobody noticing. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, it's cool because when somebody does notice it, mm-hmm. it's almost like it feels more special. Yeah. Like, like when um when I wore, wore that Cody Rhodes shirt, um then I went to Think Geek and the, the the lady that works there, she's like, Oh my god, I love your shirt. I didn't even think she was talking to me. I'm like looking around, I was like, yo, what's what's, what's your special? I'm like, You talking to me? And she's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then too sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm just waiting for like a super hot girl to be like, Hey, too sweet and then that's it. And be like, yo, guess what? You're married. <laughs> but um yeah, no, it's it's so like we, we have to like I I'm gonna make it my thing to wear it some kind of bullet club thing all like all weekend because if they're around I don't want to be the fucking you know the dude that missed them because like you look at a even though he was in a mask when Jared Leto was in that like that monkey mask mm-hmm. like nobody knew it was him or uh you know things like that um yeah I definitely want to catch them because you know, those guys would be dope to me like I think if I met Marty Skrull I'd fucking <laughs> that, that's my dude right there and um I know they got that event in Japan um, that Monday um, right after Comic-Con. But first of all, these dudes have money to fly around like that. And two, like who's to say they don't do like some sort of mini promotion on Thursday and Friday? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be interesting. I mean, and even if it's not like, I mean, fucking, you never know, maybe Adam Cole's around. You know. Baby! Dude, it, it, there's a lot of shit. I mean... Yeah, but uh, yeah, that that I'm hoping one of the guy, one of the big guys are there. I'll devote like fucking four hours to wait online if one of those guys are there. Um, cause what was it last year? We fucking the sting, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I I still remember that call. Chris called me and I thought it was for some stupid shit. No, I don't know. It's like and plus it's hard to talk yeah, because I have the yeah. paint on my face. You know, I'm walking around as the Joker, and people, like, I hate when people call me at Comic-Con, because, like, I, I can't, you know, I, it's hard to hear people, and I don't want to put the phone in my the face. Thing? Yeah, the whole Sting thing. We missed Christian. We saw Rey Mysterio. Man, fuck Rey Mysterio. Hey, if I had a chance to meet him, I mean, 
WWE, WWE Rey Mysterio is corny, but uh, the pre WWE Rey uh, Mysterio. Rey Mysterio got a good legacy going on. I, I'm, I'm down with it. I respect Mysterio. Yeah, but 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 um, no, nah, we, and we miss Christian. Sure, it's all the fuck Dominic. But at least, at least, like I said, I mean, I, I, mean, I took a picture of Christian. Of Christian. Yeah, but I didn't. Not with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm not paying. <laughs> my friend, I, I, my friend Karen, I think had a picture of him walking, of Sting walking by. But damn that dude, cause Sting is a fucking idol, man. Like, he he is probably the, the, the icon, the icon. Or or no, are you or, being sorry, are you being good. sarcastic? Sting the singer, hell yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or 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 in, or in this case, the vigilante Sting. Fuck oh yeah, 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 I know, right? Cause he doesn't have enough legacy to just like let him rock on his own name. Yeah. You got to throw another thing in front of him. Fuck Steve Borden. <laughs> yeah, word. Yo, what was that show he was in? On like USA or something like that. Some shit. The, it was around like when Nitro was still around. Yeah. Re- Fuck. But uh. But yeah. Anyways, that dude is a fucking idol. Like that. You know. Him. Stone Cold. Dude. I. Oh my God, man. I'm surprised Stone Cold don't do that shit. Well, he don't like traveling anymore. Yeah. yeah no. He, he literally is like. You gotta go chill out his knee. Yeah, yeah, because he, he he said like on this podcast he hates traveling like because he's done it so much and I understand that. Um. No, that dude, that sucks because like you were fucking like a couple people away from getting into the store to beat him, and they the next, the next person and they cut the line off. You, what kind of fucked up shit was that? that? And it's not even it's not even like you're black. There's no excuse for that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny, but no, like that that would have been gotta be pissed, man, especially with Ziggy. Like, I don't think he was as mad as I would have been. <laughs> I would have turned into a fucking wrestler and beat people up. Yeah, no, nah, they, uh, that's the thing. I don't like to make a scene, but it does suck. Well, at least I got decent pictures of him walking out, but too, bad, too bad his next mat, his last match didn't happen yet, because then he'd have all the time in the world. <laughs> he, I'm pretty sure next year he'll be at Comic-Con, because if he's going to be doing the, the indies and promoting his uh, yeah, stand-up, he'll then... he'll probably be there. Yeah. So look out for that. Or even, not even New York Comic Con. Dude, Rhode Island Comic Con. That's a show that, like, a lot of dope celebrities are there. Andy Serkis is going to be there. Um, but, like, I want to see who's going to who's gonna pop up there because Rhode Island is a lot of... They so have, like, they've had a lot of Power Rangers. He's going to be there. That's a, that's a two-day show. But, um, but that's a show that, like, a lot of dope people yeah, go to. But anywho, um... Yeah, um... So that's that. Uh... Yeah, I don't really know who who's gonna be there for the most part, outside of the people we've mentioned already. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that's an update. But but do you know do you know what are they like? Where are they gonna be at? Like, is it gonna be a a special thing or? Is So he's going to be doing the same thing he did last time, then the typical yeah. line? Um, so are they all doing that? No, he's not. He's also going to be in the actual I don't, signing thing. That's what I'm saying. The thing like the thing we went to last time. Yeah. That's what I want to know. Are they all doing the same thing? Yeah, except ASJ is going to be at a booth. He's going to be at a booth. A little bit on third. So, so Billy, Zach, Jason, and Tommy are all going to be there? Mm-hmm. I don't know if, if Kimberly's going to be there. I know what we're doing next. You gotta, you gotta see this dude. How much is it for a picture? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Nah. Um, Three fifty. Nah, nah. like about to say, you say you going there by your damn self. No, 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 no. For one, for one person, it's usually like forty, fifty, and you could split. Like we, like you, we can all take a photo together. It's up to four people per one person. Oh, okay. I don't, dude. I don't, I don't mind that shit. Like that's what we did with um. And then, well, you have to give them the phone and, and all that? Um, you could you could give them somebody the phone to take a photo or... They take what if a, they take a bad photo? Usually they don't, but yeah. Or you can have some one of our mean? people's take a photo. Get out, get out! Get Man. <laughs> yeah, that shit's annoying, though. Like, sometimes sometimes they're assholes with it, but... But uh, some people are actually, like, what do you cool. mean they're assholes with it? No, some of the... Some of the all right, so here's the thing, like... So you have obviously the the convention, you know, 
they they have to run shit the way they run shit. Yeah. And the other people there, and then some of the 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 managers of the people, oh, okay. the yeah, agents right. or whatever, like they they have their head so far up their ass that you know they're trying to. I mean, they're trying to do their job, but some of them come off a little like assholeish just for, yeah. and then it makes the uh, it sucks because it makes the 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 celebrity or artist look bad, because yeah. you know they're associated with them. But but I do understand that they're trying to do their job, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. But it, yeah, that, yeah that, that's why I don't really deal with with all that bullshit. Yeah, I mean, if if the opportunity's there and it's not too much of a hassle, I'll do it. But yeah, it does suck, kind of like. And, and my thing is, with, with with celebrities and artists and musicians, um, for the most part, like, there's so much I want to say to them, and not on some like some groupy kind of shit, like, oh, you changed my life, shit, but just genuinely want to pick their brain. Like I had that problem with Shikari. Like every time I see them, and if I ever get a chance to, you know, say hello to them, just like, dude, I have like, I just want to fucking stay in a studio with you guys and listen to you record an album, just like the whole process and that's, shit like that. That's how I feel. Like every time I'm, I'm doing a, like on a, on a project, I just like I want to work with the dude. I want to just sit down and watch the director work. I, yeah. You know, I just want to do that just for like a one project instead of. Sending me to stop human traffic and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, PA sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that. I mean, yeah, at least it's close. You know, you're closer than other people. You never know. Shit can happen with that. But, but yeah, like that. That's the hardest thing with like meeting people. It's like, you know, you only have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of things you can say. Especially depending on the venue. Like New York Comic Con, usually, you get maybe like a good three minutes with them depending on like the the situation um so it, it's it's hard but anywho yeah, but uh like, like that bodybuilder uh kai kai green mm-hmm. i'm i'm always i didn't think that his his uh booth was going to be like so packed yeah that was weird <laughs> it's like okay he's a bodybuilder but hey I, a lot of people you know, his booth was packed every time we're there early i'm like all right let me go there you know you see if i could snap a pic or mm-hmm. or get an autograph or buy his, one of his comics or whatever He's not there. Yeah, he's not there. Yeah, then I remember then that. I'm, okay, so let me do a round of show floor. And I go back there. This thing, is, this dude is packed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's tough, man. He's probably. I'm assuming he's doing a lot of like hands-on things. I guess if he's uh, not, he, at his... he does a lot of touring, and whatever. But yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully he's there. He didn't make any announcements, but last year he usually make the announcements like the week of or. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a shot with him. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I I really should look at the shit, especially since it's getting closer. Just so I have an idea, because I'll be so pissed off if like somebody's there, just like throwing out a name like John DiMaggio, mm-hmm. like he's there and I didn't know. Scotty Young and John Saul Murray, but the same fucking show. Stop so, yelling. Talk about that. I mean, that's John. See, John Saul Mariva, like it's not that big of a deal with him because I'm, I, I, I that sounds bad the way I'm saying it. I'm saying with him. He's not like all right. Scotty Young is is has way more traffic at his stuff than John Samariva. Remember, unless unless something happened within the last two years that I actually got to like kick it with him, like we were able to talk with John for like a while. Yeah, I hope we can hang out with Diddy too. Um, oh and, yeah, and, Alessandro. Like, I'll hang out with Diddy and Edwin at least once. Alessandro, yep, that dude. Alessandro, wait, that's the oh, art, the, the writer. Dude. The, the, art, the artist. The artist. Yeah, the Italian guy. Um, yeah, man. Like, I'm so fucking excited to see him. That's one dude. Like, I, I can't believe I'm and actually he's friends. To see us. That's what makes it I can't. I can't believe we're actually like friends with him. Like, with a published comic, and he's not like you know a little public. Like, he's not you know working on like a small independent studio. This dude has published work for DC and Marvel. <laughs> yeah, but. He he's always a busy dude though. Like, have you seen his commissions? Like, have you ever seen him working on commissions? No. Like, dude, he's doing like full blown, uh, full blown shit. Like, I feel bad when I talk to him, even though he's he's totally you know he actually likes talking with us, but I just feel so bad because like he's always working on shit. And then, like I think last year he was in the middle of, he was in the middle of working on a project that he couldn't really talk about. But yeah. the thing is, he procrastinated. So he had to do like all that, sh- all this shit within like five, four or five days, yes. and and the thing is, four or five days for the at, during the week of New York Comic Con is not really four or five days, because mm. unless you're pulling the no sleep shit, and even still, like you have a couple hours, 
So you 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 like sort of um what's the word I'm trying to think? Condensed uh what should be four or five days into like a day and a half of busting your ass and trying to get pages done. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, it's it, it's crazy how much uh, shit he um yeah and Edwin's gonna be there Edwin Edwin Hung um he's gonna be there so he's always there anyways but um. It, it sucks that the Giants game is at 1 o'clock on Sunday because it would have been dope to, like, be able to, like, watch the game if it was a night game. Mm -hmm. But, uh, because he's a, he's a Giants fan, um, which is cool. And it's funny because the Giants are playing the the Chargers and he's from San Diego. Right, so the people that, that sell stuff on the show for, though, those are exhibitors, right? They were, yeah, they're known as exhibitors, yeah. Uh, so, they're so vendors, but usually it falls under exhibitors. Okay, so if I'm looking for Kai, Kai Green, I, I look the exhibitors. Exhibitor, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cause the it it it'll be um they'll have like uh yeah it, the exhibitors would be anybody on the show floor, so like Akumu Inc or something like that or Kai 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 Green right Kai mm -hmm. Green yeah Kai Green or In Beyond they'd be under exhibitor, um, yeah but then you have like the artist alley, I think they have their own separate section right uh, yeah then then you have the artist with the guest that's the uh like you know the Capulos and. Snyder's and all the big big shots. Whether they're in Artist Alley or not, that that all depends. But yeah, Akumu Inc is gonna be there too. I can't wait to see what um what Comic Con exclusive they have. I fucking missed out on so many exclusives. They had they did the Planet of the Apes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kong. Oh, it was Kong. Yeah, they did a Kong a Kong exclusive. They did the Wonder Woman exclusive. The um the they had an It exclusive. Um, yeah, Death Note exclusive. Death Note exclusive uh, the Harley Quinn exclusive, which was sick, uh, and it was another one that I really wanted and I couldn't get. I'm I'm just glad I got the Coraline one. Like that one, I made sure. Like, if even if I was in debt, I made sure I got that because Coraline is. And that's another thing that I'm upset about that I couldn't do. I wanted to go as uh, the boy version of Coraline. Because mm -hmm. that's because <laughs> that's something that I could have done that, like I could have wore it, but it wasn't like as much work as the Joker. But the thing was, I needed money to get the yellow boots, and I, and, and I wanted to get a... I didn't want to just get any yellow rain jacket. I wanted to get something that like I would actually wear on a regular. So that was the hard part. That's why I'm like not too, going too crazy with the army, f the fatigue pants, because of uh, the camo. Because um, like I saw these pair of jeans, like, I think I have the picture here, um, that I wanted. And... Um, like those were they were pretty cool and I would like wear them on a regular. I didn't want want to just get like a cheap pair of pants that I'm not gonna rock, even though I'm not spending a lot of money on it. But I'd rather just where the fuck is it? But yeah, I'm a little I'm a little tight about that because I see coral lines, but not many. Like maybe like maybe the no more than four in the whole weekend. Um, but to do like a crossover thing and all I had to do is like. It, it's not a lot of work, so that's why I was so, so, so excited to do it. These are these are the pants. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at those, but I like them because I was actually looking for something like uh, Baron Corbin's old pants. Like I don't like his new pants, but the old ones were like yeah. look patched and cut. Um, but I that's what came up when I found it. But um, yeah. So uh, uh, back to the whole guest thing. Like I, ha I don't really look at that shit, even though I should, because I might miss out on somebody. But uh, like it goes back to me, really enjoying Comic Con for just the setting and the people. Yeah. Like, I mean, taking pictures and running into my friends and. Uh, I'm, I'm taking a shitload of pictures. As a matter of fact, I think I need to clear some space on my phone. Yeah, dude. Make sure your sh your phone's clear. I'm actually gonna do that too. I'm gonna make sure my phone's clear. Uh, I got. I actually have not counting the one you're using for that project. I have three memory cards, two batteries. Even though you know, photos they don't really kill batteries or whatnot. But um, still, just in case, because I want to do um, this is what I really, really, really wanted to do. I wanted to do it last year, but um, first is in, uh, interview like uh, a lot of my artist friends like Vidi and and uh, and Edwin Hong and uh. Chrissy Minga and, and the station crew. Oh, you just basically had, like a vlog video. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I wanna I wanna do the interviews, but I also wanna make uh like those Comic Con cosplay videos. Mm -hmm. But I wanna make like the coolest one because those ones that we see are pretty dope. 
but they all use like you know I don't know, like the same kind of music and not, it's not bad music it's actually pretty cool but I don't know I just want to do something fun and different and like yeah. yeah but the thing about that is just that with the whole when you're doing the video it could kind of wait kind of take away from your experience because that's another thing too yeah because you you just want to be like oh i want to just put the camera down and, and just like yay and and go around and just yeah well dude i carry the camera around camera around with the intention of taking a shit ton of photos yeah and thankfully you took a lot of photos which was cool and i really thank you for that <laughs> that's, that's that's why i'm like when um every time when i when i use this stop danny and take, i'm like I'm probably bothering this dude right now. Nah, dude. But first I'm... off, Danny, he's he's already a celebrity over there, <laughs> and I want every every cosplay. There's like so many great. I'm like, I want a picture here. I want a picture there, and Danny's always busy saying hi to his his uh co cosplay brethrens and all that. So so I'm like, I got to do a selfie thing and. Nah, dude. You know, I, it, it's I cool, know. man. Like, it... I, I, yeah, I just just oh I, I didn't want to take him away from his experience but dude nah that's that's nothing man like honestly i, I don't mind doing it. It, it it's so funny like the stories from last year like i wish that we didn't even podcast after the the comic-con last year well that's because work and, and all this stupid shit yeah. but uh yeah so like last year there was a couple instances where like uh it, it was um one of one of two of my friends it was either nikki or victoria and um like they were dressed in Mortal Kombat uh, costumes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And I remember, I think it was Victoria first. No, it was Nikki first. It was Jade, right? That was the first yeah, one we yeah, ran yeah, into. Yeah. And yeah. X is like, "Yo, take a picture." First, he's telling me to take a picture with her. I'm like, "Fuck, I'm gonna take a picture with her. I don't know her." No, I, I didn't. No, you, yeah, you tell because you do that to I, me because because no, no, no. I because I'm j dressed in cosplay. Mm -hmm. Nah, That's, I, I really wanted a picture with her. No, but you always, you <laughs> want the picture, but you always be like, yo, go take a picture with her. Like, you tell me to do it, because I know you want one. So I was like, yo, go take a picture with her then. And then he was like, he was like, no, no, no. Then he was like, go, go take a picture with her. Yeah, I was like, I don't, she I was, don't she know was, her. She, she was already, like, in the middle for, like, a freaking one of those yeah, professional shoot, yeah. photo shoots. Then you like... That shit is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and then you're like, you're like, you're like, yo... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know her. And then she's looking at me while she's taking the shoot. And she's looking that at me. And I'm looking that at her. And I'm like, wait, I, do I know her? And she pulled the mask off. I was like, holy shit, it's Nikki. She stopped the fucking photo shoot. and, and took yeah, stopped the photo shoot. That, yo, that, that shit makes me feel mad cool enough for nothing. Because these dudes, they get tight. Uh, yo, it's like, what are you, you holding down these? It's like, how many pictures are you going to take? I yeah, mean, yeah. I know you're, you're, you're on a fucking, you want to do a, a portfolio thing. and But damn. Yeah, the, 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 especially some if things you're are not, just ridiculous. Okay. Especially if you're not, it's not a paid shoot. Like yeah. if none of you guys are getting paid, like if you're not paying them or they're not paying you, then. Because I mean, uh, remember when I went to photo bomb a homegirl and that dude was like, no, no, he got mad tight. Like, uh, so, dude, so, come okay. on, man. Like, I, 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 you're taking like 500 pictures anyway. Right. <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, if if you if if it's paid, whatever. But anyways, back to the story. So yeah, so um, that happened with Nikki. Um, I, I knew who she was. I didn't think I knew who she was because, like, you know, there's so many people that dress up and I didn't remember she was going to do it. And she had the fucking face, the mask on. So I'm like, fuck am I supposed to recognize her? But then again, she's a very distinct, distinguishable girl in a good way. Um, and she's doing some dope Harley Quinn and um, Negan crossover. Like, she looks dope in that shit. Um, and she's doing Laura Croft. Have you seen her Laura Croft? If she's doing Laura Croft, I want that picture. Yo, let me tell you something. Her Laura Croft is fucking. Yo, let cool. her know. Let her know that you, when there's a Laura Croft, I want the picture. Dude, I I, I got you. I want to see the text and everything. Oh God, I want that picture. Dude, she she fucking kills it, man. Um, but yeah, so it happened with her, and then. We we ran into uh, was it is Katana right no Mal Melina or Katana I forgot the name it was Jade Melina Jade? And Katana okay so Melina is the purple one right the the purple one that's Melina yeah Melina so okay so Katana that's funny my, my homegirl is Melina she wears purple a lot she does the Starfire thing and yeah, Melina, she's yeah, yeah. Melina that's my homegirl right there no, I'm talking about the character not the yeah <laughs> so it was Katana we ran into Katana again and I'm like yo I don't know this girl and then it happened to be Victoria I was like oh okay cool. And then, yeah, then the third one, they were all together, um, so I, I knew it. But it was just really funny, because, like, this dude's telling me to take photos with them, because he wanted to take photos with them. Like, so he trying to throw me into the fire, like, I'm some kind of G. And then I'm over there shitting on these girls, like, I don't know these girls, like, fuck them. And then all of a sudden, like, they're, like, 
super super awesome homegirls and I'm like and these girls show me way more love than, than anybody should which is cool um like cause I look at them like I don't, okay I don't I don't look at pe- these people like celebrities but the thing is they have a fucking crazy amount of followers and th- you know I'm like who am I you know I'm just this dude that does the Joker and whatever I'm not that special I'm not fucking up on stage or anything yet so but um but yeah so the fact that they show me that kind of love but it was just funny cause I was just I was shitting on them cause I didn't I didn't think I knew who they were I'm like yo fuck that I'm not gonna go take a picture with them fuck but then they were like super fucking awesome friends and I was like shit and that's the kind of thing, that's what I really love Comic-Con for. Like, it's just being able to see my friends and, you know, see the work they do and, you know, just... Even if we don't chat it up, just snap a quick picture mm-hmm. and boom, that's yeah, it. I mean, some, for the most part, people are actually cool. I yeah. understand sometimes they're tired. That's why I always ask if it's cool if you take a picture. Yeah. Because I know sometimes they can be tired. Like, uh, Pink Ranger, I was just seeing in her face that she's like tired so I was like you know what I'm not even going to bother her I'm just going to take a picture I'm not even going to bother her so yeah yeah I mean yeah yeah that's the thing too I mean I, I do I do respect I was like yo let me get a picture nah imagine I, just, I yeah. do it because I know them but <laughs> no I'm just like yo let's take a picture but yeah no I get it because the thing is um, but also too like they're they're dressed up so it's like if they're not going to take pictures with people yeah I don't, that's, that's, that's kind of stupid yeah. yeah why even dress up like yeah. I mean, and oh, so those and those people who those professional photographers do they take a picture of you and you have to pay them? Um, for, for the, that picture. It, I mean, it depends if they're um if they're uh like doing something for like if they're if they're they work with a, like a magazine company or something like that, then you would have to pay because that's the only way they'll you know they can't just give you the image because they're doing it for yeah. the company. So, like, because I ran into that where some dude took, like, a really dope... There's one where I'm, like, holding a card like that. Mm-hmm. And, um, this, like, you know, I wanted the picture. The thing is, I had to pay, but it was, like, really expensive. Like for, how like, much? Um, damn, I forgot. It was, it, was a, it was a crazy price, though. But I was, like, I wanted to pay for it, but the thing is... Don't tell me it's in the hundreds. Fuck there's, there's different options. That's the thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. But when you go to something like that, you you actually sign your rights away. Oh, yeah, when, yeah. Once you walk in a spot, like not really sign. Like when you walk into Comic Con, th- th- you can't you can't like if oh, somebody yeah, yeah, posts yeah, videos yeah. or something of you in it, yeah. like all those videos that we're in it where I look like a fucking yeah, doofus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I know that. I know that. But yeah, damn. but um, yeah. If they if like yeah, it's it's crazy how they I do mean, it. Now I run into some people that they're they're they do professional photos, but they they're freelancers, so they work for themselves. Like J C and um. Uh, What's what's his name? Um, wow, why am I drawing blanks? Oh my god. Jason, there you go. It, you know, I was thinking it, J C Jason. Um, they like they take photos and you know they do it professionally, but they they give me the images because you know, as long as you know you keep the logo on there, which I don't fuck like I'm not gonna not yeah. credit them. Like, dude, they're my boys. Like, they they're doing their shit, you know. But yeah, there are people that they work for, like you know published com- you know publishing companies or for magazines or whatever it may be because so yeah basically they take a kick-ass picture basically most more for, for the most part most likely you're gonna have to pay for it yeah Un- unless like i said they, there's people that they'll like actually like there's a lot of those dudes that took photos of me that they gave me the image or whatever um without a problem but there was one that they they had took of me and um let me see if I have it in my phone, that they had took and I wasn't able to get it. And it was, like, probably one of my favorite photos because I didn't look like a fucking dick. Um, damn, where is it? Um, but, like, I, I, you can you can save it, you, it but it ha- it'll have, like, like Getty images on it or some shit like oh, that. Oh, the, the big-ass yeah. watermark. Or... Mm-hmm. And it's a shitty-ass quality, so, like, if you try to put it, if, like, you try to look at it on a big thing, it looks bad. But it sucks, man. But and on the other, on the other end of it, like I would love to pay for it. But mm-hmm. at that time, like I don't have fucking two hundred dollars to pay for a photo. If no, I did, no. yeah. if I did, I would do it because again, like I know that's the only way they get paid if they're working for a yeah. company. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's yeah. So for the most part, you you're good. But there are instances like, you know, if they're if they work for a magazine or something, you won't be able to get it unless you pay for it 
and and the price is pretty fucking hefty. But, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, since I'll, I'll I'll I think I'll just find out. But like I said, ain't nobody going to take a picture of me. Ain't nobody know what stars is. No, nah, dude, watch. You're gonna probably you're gonna probably get stopped more than me. Watch. I'm gonna get mad tight. I'm gonna try to go places and shit. <laughs> that's that's a, that well that happens with me. And it's funny because like there are times where you're really trying to go somewhere and people yeah. want to stop you. And yeah. I'm dressed up. I'm not gonna be that dick. Like, yeah. or I, you know what I'll do? Sometimes I'll tell them, "Yo, come follow me." Mm-hmm. Like, if, if it's not that far or whatever. That's what. Yeah. So Thursday and Fridays, just, since there's no panels or none of that. Oh yeah. Because if there's like panels And like I gotta get the fuck out of here <laughs> Yeah definitely don't Because yeah. if you're in regular clothes I mean At least the two sweet You can walk by And just two sweet people mm-hmm. But like um, Yeah What was I gonna say I, I mean you're, you're only doing panels On Saturday right Yeah It's, it's just that That one panels on Saturday Yeah It's yeah. just that punishment so, I ain't down with it. it It's that It's that MSG too Yeah so if I were you I, would, I mean Thursday You can go regular Friday and, and Sunday those are the best days if you're gonna, cause you might as well utilize your, the shit you paid for, and not just what, wear it once. Thursday go regular. What's that? What are you talking about? No, I mean like I don't know if you want to dress up on Thursday. Why? Why not? I don't know. I oh. I don't know. I'm I don't oh, dress oh. up on Thursday, but I dress up the rest of the days. But oh. no, I'm I don't know what days you want. If you want to dress up Thursday, no, I'm not doing. My plan is Thursday and Friday. Oh, do Sunday. Let me do Sunday. Do Sunday too. Dress up as on Sunday. Dress up as Sunday. Dress up as Sunday. What the fuck Sunday looks like? Nah, it shit. looks like shit. No, but dress. Do it Sunday too. That's what I'm saying. Like if you had to pick two, if you were picking, if you were only doing it two days, I would do it. If 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 you're only doing it two days, I would do it Friday and Sunday. Cause that's when more you know, like you can do it Thursday. But then you you're not gonna do it Sunday, and you're gonna be like, damn, I this dude was here, and I could have took a picture with him. Yeah, so. Uh, it really depends on my energy. So, that's true too. I mean, I might do three days. I don't know. Uh, hey, fuck it. I mean, and and you can always like. I don't want to do this. I I, mean, I might do one costume. I might do twice. But yeah. yeah. Or you can do like some shit where like you can take off some of the stuff and have like sort of a laid back thing, but keep the things that make the thing that. So like, if there's yeah. a patch or whatever or some shit. That's true. Damn, I'm trying to find this fucking picture. Um. Oh, was it two thousand and oh, right here, do, um, but yeah, like, but if you if you're doing two days, this one right here, like that photo was like probably one of my favorite. Oh, if it gave me, it, it, I'm not even mad at that. No, I, I would, I would rock, I would put that yeah. shit on on the, social media. Well, the only thing though is if you use if I use that image, like the the one that I took, like if you use it. Some like on some like promotion kind of thing or something like that. They they'll fucking they'll like you get in trouble for that. So you can't put it on your social media. You could put, I mean you could put it on your like we're basically. But you can't people. put it on another. Like if it's like yeah if I'm, like say my my web the the website uh, six, uh fail, failing successfully dot com. If I put it on our website like. I could get on some shit like that. Like if you use it for like promotional use or whatever. Oh, but yeah, if you yeah, just like, oh, well, of course, yeah, yeah, I understand that. If you're just an average Joe Schmo, like like for example, like Imbion, if there was a if there was a photo of theirs of somebody from there on on Getty Images and they were using it with, they might get more heat because they're a company. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, you can you can if somebody takes a picture and you find it and you want to screenshot it or some shit. I mean, hey, but yeah, because they they now own rights to you. <laughs> Which is fucking crazy, but like, I mean, whatever. I mean, yeah. I just, I was just upset because that photo is really fucking sick. Like that would have been like my profile picture for forever, but <laughs> or my cover photo. But Chris, what are you looking forward to? Everything. Everything. Chris is in the middle of blowing out the bulls. You He's very saying? focused. See, Chris, you you rocking the Embian booth? What? You gonna be at the Embian booth? Oh, so where can I put my shit? Shit <laughs> mask, almost two hundred points. I mean, you could you could probably leave the stuff there. You like if I have a bag and I leave it there, it's, I don't think he's gonna give me shit. But we'll figure that out. But and what we gotta do is get Nick there. Cause this guy, dude, he's gonna fucking go crazy at Comic Con. Come on, corny ass dreamer is gonna be there, and you're not there. Come on, this dude ain't even a comic book fan. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you, actually, at least you're an anime. You know, you know more. Anime. You know more about the of that. You know more within that realm than he does. Well, Dreamer is a Walking Dead guy, so yep. <laughs> he got that Bad whole sad finish. Sh- and the series, <laughs> the series, not yeah, the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The series. Well, like that's, well, that's what the the Comic Con is basically yeah. around the series. Yeah, yeah. it's true. I mean, Comic Con is as big as it is now because of the Walking Dead. Because because you didn't did you you didn't go with us the the first first year we went right you uh-huh. only went the so the first year we went it was nowhere near as big as the year you went. I mean, it was, dude, there was a lot of people. Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of fucking people. But it was like, it felt like a fraction of that the year before. I remember my first year that I went, you said last year, it was that, that one Saturday, it was horrible. Everybody was like wall to wall. <laughs> yeah. Saturdays are always usually the worst, but, uh, yeah, the... But now they open venues. there when you're done charging for... Okay. Yeah, now, since since they have, like, the, the, the um... The the panels at or well, a lot of the big panels at you know MSG and and um, what is it the Hammerstein Ballroom I think or something mm-hmm. like that since they started doing them there uh, it took away a lot of traffic but still but it's still I mean but yeah you can't a hundred thousand people well at least a hundred thousand tickets sold one hundred and forty thousand or some shit didn't like it, that didn't it go bigger didn't it it's like more people went than um. San Diego one year? I think it, it may have been last year or the year before it broke the San Diego record. And San Diego always pulls a crazy amount of people. When I heard San Diego, the space is smaller. Oh. And how... But I think they might have, like, the outside more... Be, like, they might oh, okay. have more open area. Because, you know, New York is New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and the city is... Yeah, yeah, you're pretty condensed. Like, e- even... Like, I think the only city that may not be... Like, it may be the closest to New York is Chicago. I feel like L.A. City is a lot different than New York City. Especially where they have the convention center. Oh, it's not, excuse me, it's not even L.A., it's in San Diego. So, <laughs> that that says it right there, because L.A. is a whole different ballgame. But anywho, um, so yeah, we got to get Nick there next year. Yep. Go in as the, uh, as the, the undercover bishop. Dude, all you gotta do is walk up in the Comic Con, just like that, with an M on your eye, and everybody's gonna be like, "Oh my God, it's Bishop!" and they gonna take pictures with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, dude, bullet, it's that bullet, simple. Bullet, bullet club, Cause you you got the dreads. That's already enough cosplay right there. Bullet club bishops. Yeah, th- there you go, dude. We'll do uh, like Bullet Club uh, comic book heroes and shit, or, or video game he- characters Let's and whatnot. Man, Nick talking mad shit. He said we're gonna go into Shield one year, and he just pulled out, bro. Oh, shit, y'all got, got money to fucking, <laughs> shit. fucking drop, dude. Next year, next year, next year, next year. Yo, all I'm all I'm saying all I'm saying is this: if I can manage to find my way to get a ticket, just like happen to come across one, yo, yeah, I mean, you better be ready. They're still selling uh, Thursdays at Yeah, Thursday's still available. Just come to one that Thursday. They got work for you. But do you work this Thursday? Well, you gotta get if it's Thursday, you gotta get you gotta go to Midtown's like tomorrow. No, actually, I work Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So come through, at least Thursday. Do come on. Yo, get yo, get him a t- go go to Midtown, yeah. get him a ticket. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't even have money, and I'm gonna get you a ticket. Fuck it. Get him a ticket. How much the ticket? Like forty five dollars. Oh yeah, I, I was about to say seventy five. <laughs> forty five bucks, dude. That's nothing. Go go go! Order him a ticket. It's on me. So on me. Order him a ticket, bro. <laughs> Shit. All right, whatever. All right, Nick's coming to Comic Con, guys. Merry well, Christmas. Mean, Thank I you. Mean, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Well, if they're available at Midtown, then yeah. So who's gonna go to Midtown? <laughs> well, Chris. Um, yeah. Chris goes to you go to the city on Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah I'm going, so Tuesday, go That they might be going by Tuesday. Dude, if Thursday tickets are still available now. Yeah, you can still get them online too. So you yeah, just you just have to go to, to, we'll go to yeah, we'll call. We'll, we'll, we'll call starting on Tuesday, so... We All right, so you can get it online, like, tonight or tomorrow, then go to, and have Nick pick it up. But Nick had to do that fan verification shit. No, I could do it on the... Oh, yeah, we could do it on the... Our, yeah. On the who? We could do it on one of our thingies. It doesn't matter, because once, you know, once but you... He's, but he's going to have to unlock it regardless with his fan ver- verification yeah, I email. Yeah, for Jason's, I use one of my other emails. Okay, all right. Whatever, we'll figure it out. But anywho, more than likely, Nick's coming to Comic-Con, so he's nuts. And we will be back after Comic-Con, if we don't die.
Any any last words, X? I don't know. Uh, for you six people, if you're going to Comic Con, if you see me, that's I'm assuming you know what I who uh, you know what I look like. You get a hug. Yeah, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna post uh, uh, uh all over social media. I'm gonna post uh free hug promotions, so you guys will know the face. It might scare you a little bit, but... <laughs> yeah, breaking news. Somehow Nick's coming to Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Thank you.